Um, All right, see you later. All right, <laughs> here we go. What's up, everybody? This is Q. I'm here with Dana Snyder. Dana Snyder. He is a voice for Master Sake and uh, Queen Hunger Force. Correct. She also a granny in Squid Gillies. You better believe it, boy. Dr. Colosso and the Thundermans. Yes, Dr. Colosso. Like I said before, like, Yeah, they all sound the same. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Scratch, <laughs> Molly McGee <laughs> sounds the same. Hi, I'm Scratch. I'll do all the way. Hi, it's me, Grabala the Hot from Lego Star Wars. Uh, Bob's Burgers. Bob's Burgers. Hey, it's me, the guy with the helicopter and Bob's Burgers. <laughs> Sounds the same. All right, I got a couple questions for you. Oh yeah, yes. All right, uh, first Love question. question. All right, first question. What got you into voice acting? I'm my brain just. I did theater. And my friend I went to college with went to high school with Dave Willis over there. Oh yeah. And he called her up and said we're trying to find somebody to do this uh, cartoon character we wrote. And she said, what does he sound like? And he said she should. He should sound like his mouth writes checks, his body can't cash. She goes, oh, call my friend Dana. That's exactly what he sounds. And then I auditioned over the phone, and then I got the part. Okay. Uh, I did not plan nothing. I wasn't planning on it. I just sort of happily fell into it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you play characters that should not be like. How do you make them so lovely? It's a mystery. You may never know. If I could, if I knew that, I'd, man, I'd be rich. I'd be bottling that up and selling it in my online voiceover love classes. Of how to make all your characters like, lovable. Like, like you said, with Master Shake, he, right, he does talk a lot. I think uh, he's, they're, they're, they're likable because even when he's talking shit That's to awesome. people, yeah. it's so, yeah. he's so ineffective yeah, like, and so obviously cannot do any of the things he's talking about. Oh, yeah. They've just like, more pity than... Not yeah. They're not going to hate him. He's not like a Bond villain. He's, yeah, like, he's like useless. Yeah. So they're like, well, all right, he's it's funny like, every once in a while. He's going to entertain you or something. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, right. Yeah. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. All right. Um, so in 2022, in New York Comic Con, which I saw y'all look for the first time. I know you're going to ask me about the meat watch had you. Yes. That's but right. No, but no, so we saw, I'm not going to talk about out here. Oh, yeah, no. Because we're not talking about me more right now. I'm talking about Master Shake. Have you seen any Master Shake tattoo? Oh, yes. Not only have I I've seen some. Uh, it was nice to be here. I'm not going to miss the thing. I, um... Yes. <laughs> yes. Am I being loud? No. No. Oh. You come here. I... You don't know what I did. You'll never know. Sorry. Yeah, I was ah. a cartoon skunk, but I also used to be a green beret. <laughs> I am put on the I tell you what, you never know what it's like when you're down in the muck. <laughs> Okay, hold I'll on. Kill my, I'll kill Bammy's mother myself. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry. Kill her myself. I, God. Not only have I seen many uh, shake tattoos, but I gave someone a shake so back tattoo. Oh, wow. Yes, a, tat, a great tattoo artist named Earl Funk. Uh -huh. And I put a little, like this big, on down on his ankle. He had one little spot left that did not have a tattoo on it. So I gave, and I, I actually think How can you even we did film it mm -hmm. and I also think it's on one of the DVD extras on a Aqua Teen DVD because okay. Jay filmed it and we were at a Scream Fest so that's all I remember that's the first time you ever did a tattoo? It's the only time I ever did tattoo. It's the rarest tattoo. Would you do it again? Sure. I mean, I should tell you, I saw him like two years later and I said, how's that tattoo? Because at first he says like, uh, you got to put pressure on her and it fades. I said, okay, all right. And then I go, and I'm going like, is this enough pressure? And he goes, you can probably let up a little bit. I said, okay. And then I saw him like two years later. I said, how's that tattoo? He goes, I met that took over eight months to heal because you did it so deep. I, got an in -memory I was like, tattoo. what do you want? I said, what do you want? You get what you pay for. I'm not a professional tattoo artist. What am I going to do? Oh, I can't help it. Right. Well, that's my only tattoo story of any uh, this, interest or variety. Or this you tattooing somebody else. That's right. But I have seen many shake tattoos. Yes. Uh, actually, I, I saw uh, where she's not here today, uh -huh. but I also saw somebody has a tattoo on their upper thigh. Her name is Laurel, mm -hmm. of me in my demon get up from your pretty face is going to hell uh -huh. in a uh, like bondage S and M type situation. It's a little disturbing. It's on her. How do you feel when you see people? How do you feel when you see people get tattoos of your characters? 
We all make choices in life. I, I can't, uh, you know. I mean, it's, it, it's a compliment, but also I feel like they're ruining their body. But oh yeah, this is there's so, one of the more fun so many other things they could put on there. But area. you know, but if it makes you happy, everybody likes they do it. Very What's the tattoo? Is that hurting anybody? Unless it says like you know, screw so Steve or something. You know, yeah. something, yeah. something mad that would incite yeah, violence in someone else. Oh yeah, yeah. I was sad that I could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I guess as a audience, a celebrity. I mean, let's let's not throw that word around. I don't know about a celebrity. You, you don't think you're a celebrity? No, I would not. I would not say uh, most of these people are celebrities. Here. I know it says there's a big sign. It's just people who work who you you are aware of. I mean, I, I go, I'm not gonna walk through the mall and get mobbed by people. That's a celebrity. That's okay. Taylor Swift, celebrity. Gotcha. Uh, George Clooney. Those are celebrities. Gotcha. So maybe there was one here. I don't know who all was here this time. So basically, if you need security, this is what you're celebrity. That's right. If you get bothered all the time, mm -hmm. like get, me getting recognized like a compliment because it means you must really know your shit. You know. I mean, your voice but is iconic, though. To some. Most of this stuff, most the population of America does not know almost any of this. But, like the uh, Plastic Man for Justice League. I actually went back last summer and looked at all the DC animation as a hello. That's you. That's me. Unfortunately, we only did one season. I would have liked to. Another question. Well, a lot, lot of the stuff he did. Was oh, God, sorry. I mean, to move your thing. I was, you, you, you was moving this out. Right. Right, um, so, two more questions. Yes. Oh, my God. Um, but three. What's your favorite episode for Aqua Tree Hunter? I can't pick one. We had a whole talk about this yesterday. I mean. He's actually so really like nice guy. If you want to cover it up. There's one that they're like the fake Flintstones. Mm -hmm. And they're down in this bunker. So many things. What's that one called, Dave, with the with the fake Flintstones? The Granite Family? The Granite Family. The Granite Family. Yes. That's the one. I can't remember the title, but that one's I like that one makes me laugh every time. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. So you have any advice for people who want to be in the industry? You got their back too. No. <laughs> I, everybody I know has gotten into it a hundred different ways. Mm -hmm. But like Henry's right. If you want to do that stuff, it's right there. It's so easy yeah. to make your own stuff. Just start making your own stuff. Now it's real easy. Yes. But like yeah, make stuff. Take acting class. Henry. What's that? Henry. I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> 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 no, to the bathroom. Yay! Yay! <laughs> All right, last question. Is there anything you want to promote or you want to say? No, I got nothing to say. I mean, not in a bad way. I got, uh, you know, I know there's a new Thunderman's movie coming out. We just had five new uh, Aqua Teen episodes came out. I think they're all on HBO Max or something. Mm -hmm. I do a podcast with Lisa, okay. Dino. Talking about that again? Yes. That's all I got. I've been, I've been in the corner with the beat all the time. You have to plug it, though. That's how you get views. That's true. I got nothing to view. I mean, that's a lot, though. You have the shows you got going on. You have your podcast. I have a... I have an X and an Instagram that I don't know what they are. I mean, I have them. I go, I don't know what the, you know, I don't know what the. You know, so you're not good with social media. For oh, God, no. no. I'm just not interested in it. I, I, I feel like it sucks me in and then I look down and it's been five hours and I haven't done it. So, so you would never get a TikTok? I think I have one. But it's like too much work. I don't want to make them. I don't, and then I make them, and then what? Somebody watches them. All right. I got, my, I got enough shit to do. Now, now I got this job of making, putting TikToks up. And yes. Nothing against people who do. Yes. I know they love it. But it's too it's too much. Too much yeah, yeah, for I, me. Yeah. I'm, I'm very lazy. <laughs> I'm very, I have more than enough stuff to keep me occupied gotcha, gotcha. without getting into the TikTok game. I watch them sometimes. <laughs> I watch YouTube, I like YouTube. Yeah, YouTube's always good. Yeah, but too much. Too much. Maybe one day if I got the right, the right spark of ideas. Gotcha. But then you got to keep doing. It. Yes, and that's the yeah. that's the problem. Yeah, once you get that spark, it's just like keep... relentless beast that just keeps banging at your door for something new and something new. Yes, I mean like, you can. I mean, yeah. Those people who do it all the time, I don't. I'm fascinated how they have enough energy to do like a video every day. Exactly. Like you probably though. Here you get, you'll get 50 inter 50 video 
goes out of all this because you go to everybody and then you get all the stuff you know hello sorry we're just <laughs> finishing our interview here right. oh yeah so well, you got somebody up here now so I'll, thank you so much for the interview absolutely but you're, you're not supposed to me but i'll make sure i'll tag you so. all right that way you can use that I'll your people okay can find yes it. that's good right. i'm great at retweeting all right. Yeah, all right. Or re-Xing now, or whatever it's called. Uh, yeah, but no, we can't yeah. tweet no more, do we? we, t- we can't. Yeah, I guess it's because it's not Twitter. It's just Xers. Xers. X- I'm great at exercising. <laughs> I'll exercise. You're an exercise. That's uh, right. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right.